I want to end this chapter with a, a radioactive decay problem. And um, PU-239 is plutonium-239. It's a man-made element made in reactors from, uh, uh, from uranium that's used in reactors. It's a byproduct. Plutonium-239 has a half-life of 24,100 years. After how many years would a 6.2 kilogram mass decay to one kilogram? Now, 6.2 kilograms weighs about 13 and a half pounds, and in a sphere would be about maybe this big. And that's what was dropped on Nagasaki, Japan. That's what took out an entire city, killed 100,000 people, we'll say. Um, because energy was released through Einstein's E equals MC squared in a fission reaction. Um, actually, not all the energy was released, only a, a small fraction was, but it was enough to, to take out an entire major city in Japan. So, um, anyway, I, I just picked up those numbers from that problem. And how long would it take for that to decay to one kilogram? Well, the, what a half-life means is a radioactive element over a certain amount of time will decay to half its original uh, starting point. And so, um, this particular isotope, it takes 24,100 years. So in other words, in 24,100 years, 6.2 kilograms will have shrunk down to 3.1, half that amount. And so we'll use the um, law of uninhibited decay, growth decay model, to do this. And the function, again, is, let me use A this time for amount rather than P. Sometimes books use Q for quantity. That would work also. So anyway, the amount, if we started with 6.2 kilograms, it would be 6.2 starting amount times e to the kt. Now the half-life means that the amount after 24,100 years, and I'm filling in the numbers here, 24,100 times K would equal to half this amount, which is 3.1. So the half-life is what is going to allow us to establish the decay rate, K. And K is going to end up being negative, as you'll find out as we solve for this. So if I divide both sides by 6.2, I'll get one half, literally. So E to the 24,100 K equals to one half, or 0.5 if you prefer. So if we take the logarithm of both sides, convert to log form, we have 24,100 K equals to natural log of 0.5. So K, our decay rate, is natural log 0.5 divided by 24,100. All right, now that's going to be a probably a pretty small number. Natural log 0.5 divided by 24,100 is approximately negative 0 0.0000 2876. Now my calculator is showing negative 2.876 times 10 to the negative fifth power. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that's 10 to the negative fifth would be this number. Four zeros after decimal point. And then notice I went four more significant places. If you, if you call that a three and just cut it off, you've made a pretty big error. So use at least four significant places if you want accuracy. All right, so um, that establishes the decay rate. And notice that it does come in negative. It has to in order to decay. So I'm going to rewrite the, the equation with that number here. So let's see. It's going to be 6.2 times e to the negative 0 0.1234028762876. So t. Now, um, after how many years would it decay to one kilogram? I'll set that equal to one. And now we're going to solve for time. We, we need to solve for time to solve for a number of years. And so that's indeed what happens. So I'll set this equation, this amount, 
when is the amount equal to 1? Depends on what t is. So I'm going to divide both sides by 6.2, e to this number, 2876t equals to 1 over 6.2. Be careful about, you know, writing and calculating those number of decimals there. It'd be easy to, you know, enter the wrong number of zeros here. Some people get sloppy about that. All right, so if I take the log of both sides or convert to log form, we got negative 0 0.0000. 0.0002876t equals to natural log 1 over 6.2. So t will equal to natural log 1 over 6.2 divided by negative 0 0.0000276. Now we'll end up having negatives that cancel here because this will be a negative. Natural log of, whoops, natural log 1 divided by 6.2 and then divide this by negative 0 0.0000-2876. Okay, I get a big number around 63,441. All right, now if you get a negative number, don't ignore the negative. You're not supposed to get a negative number of years. Okay, there's a mistake somewhere. It could be you just overlooked the negative, but it could be that you entered something wrong also. So don't, don't ignore negatives and problems. You know, follow up on them, make sure that you didn't make a mistake. All right, so that's my estimate. There will be be one kilogram, that's about 2.2 pounds, um, after 63,441 years. There we go. So, all done with that. Now, if the original bomb dropped on Hiro uh, Nagasaki had been just left to sit for 63,000 years, it would have one, one kilogram of plutonium left, and it would, not, it would not be a nuclear bomb. It wouldn't be enough to have a critical mass. So, um, but anyway, that's, uh, that's a problem there. Well, that, uh, that finishes everything, finishes the book. So I hope these uh, videos did you a lot of good, and um, good luck.